so in this video we will be discussing the solutions for the week 11 grade assignment of english subject let's begin so we have the first question identify the grammatically correct sentence from the options given raj told the story in details and we have Raj told the story in detail. So which of these two options is the correct one? So Raj told the story in details. So when do we use the word details? So we use the word details when we are seeking information. For example, let's say uh, yeah, a lady has called me from a telecom company, telecom company, right? So like she is uh, asking me to like choose a plan or choose her choose their sim as our primary sim so like i ask her give me some details give me more details about this right so when we are seeking information we make use of the word details but here raj is not seeking any information he is giving his information i mean he is he is telling his the story right so yeah Raj told the story in detail and not details, right? So option B would be the correct option. Moving on to the next question. Identify the grammatically correct sentence from the option given. So we have two options. She is the more clever of the two. Second option we have. She is the cleverer of the two. So the correct option here would be she is the cleverer of the two right like she is the more clever of the two yeah like this also would this option would also be right but uh see she is the more clever so more clever means nothing but cleverer right more clever means nothing but cleverer so like why uh, why make use of uh, two words like when we can compress it to a single word right so we say she is the cleverer of the two right yeah so option b here would be the correct option moving on to the next question We have a third question here identify the grammatically correct sentence from the options given we have two options we shall see her after dinner second option we shall see her after the dinner so the correct option is option a we shall see her after dinner so why don't we use the article here so we only use a article here a definite article here when like we are, we are describing a subject or a noun with adjectives for example we'll be using the word the only when like we are describing the dinner with adjectives for example uh, we shall see her after after the uh, after the christmas christmas dinner right so we have uh, an adjective here that is christmas right we shall see her after the Christmas dinner. So which dinner is it? It is Christmas dinner. So Christmas here will act as an adjective, right? So for this sentence, we'll make use of the definite article, the, right? But here, uh, like we don't have any adjectives describing the main subject, right? Like we just have, we shall see her after the dinner. So there is no any adjective. Uh, sorry there is no any adjective describing so we don't make use of the definite article so yeah option a is the correct option fourth question 
identify the grammatically correct sentence from the options given. We have Sushmita suggested me this and we have Sushmita suggested this to me. So the correct option here is second option, right? Uh, so why is the first option not right? Sushmita suggested me this. So like we are ending this in a wrong way, right? This we are ending with the, the word this, so which is not correct. And it also sounds informal, right? Sushmita suggested me this. Like when we are having a conversation with our friends or like an informal conversation. If, if we are having an informal conversation, then we can like say this sentence, right? Then we can say the first sentence. But uh, like preferably everyone would everyone would prefer to talk to talk or like have conversations in a formal way so sushmita suggested this to me would be more better even in an informal conversation right so sushmita suggested this to me would be a uh, would be the right option moving on to the next question so then we have the fifth question identify the grammatically correct sentence from the options given Deepa is very much sorry and Deepa is very sorry. So the correct option here would be the second option. So the first option like Deepa is very much sorry. Like this doesn't mean anything much. Like Deepa is very sorry is more than enough. Right? Like if I say I am very much sorry and if I say I am very sorry like there is not much of a difference. Right? Like both mean the same thing so why add an extra word very much right both mean the same thing right the person will eventually forgive you or not forgive you right adding a very much the word much here like would not make any significant changes to the sentence or the situation right deepa is very sorry is same thing as saying as saying the saying as deepa is very much sorry like deepa is very much sorry is also not a correct sentence to be to be fair right deepa is very sorry is the formal way of asking uh, apology right deepa is very sorry so the op second option is the correct option then we have fill in the blank with the most appropriate option so sixth question many research many rich, many research scholars choose noam chomsky as the topic for dash research paper so we got to fill in this blank uh, we have three options there is her so many research scholars choose noam chomsky as the topic for their research paper right so the first option would be the correct option right first option would be the correct option their research paper moving on to the next question we have the seventh question here the shopkeeper sold only dash pair of socks the shopkeeper sold only a pair of socks yeah this sounds to be like this sounds right let's check the shopkeeper sold only an pair of socks no there is no word found here so second option and gets eliminated then we have the the shopkeeper sold only the pair of socks yeah this also seems to be right so like the shopkeeper sold only the pair of socks so when we so the situation when we will be using the word the article the here like would be the situation would be like if the shopkeeper only sold a pair of shocks in his entire like in his entire shop there are only pair of socks nothing else no shoes uh, no chapels no nothing only pair of socks 
so if the shopkeeper is selling only pair of socks in his whole uh, shop then we will be using the article the here the shopkeeper sold only the pair of socks so uh, we will be using the article a here uh, if like uh, if like the shopkeeper sold only a pair of socks which means like if the shopkeeper is only willing to sell it in a pair like in a single pair the shopkeeper sold only a pair of socks a pair of socks right instead of selling multiple pairs instead of selling multiple pairs of socks he sold only a pair of socks yeah in such case we'll be making use of the article a right so the correct option here would be uh, first option the shopkeeper sold only a pair of socks right yeah moving on to the next question question 8 Ramesh traveled to Dash Texas the previous month so we have again articles here a and the none of above so Ramesh traveled to a Texas no Ramesh traveled to and Texas no there is no vowel sound a Texas because like when we use when we are talking about places names we use the definite article the but here there is a different scenario Ramesh traveled to the Texas the previous month would also not be right like we can't use the here and again the here right again the here as you can see they have used again the here so like we can't use the Texas the previous month yeah this would sound wrong so none of none of above would be the correct option here right yeah moving on to the next question question number nine she is not interested dash learning how to ride a bicycle so this is a easy question she is not interested in learning how to ride a bicycle right she is not interested to learning how to ride a bicycle no this will not sound right as adding a two here again we have a two here she is not interested to learning how to ride bicycle no this would sound wrong she is not interested for learning how to ride a bicycle this would also sound wrong so the correct option is option c here then we have tenth question people prefer traveling a long distance dash bus the correct option here would be by bus at bus will we would be using this prepar this preposition at only when we are like saying that i will be there at 11 pm right yeah when we are like physically talking like i will be there at i will be there at 6 pm right yeah but people prefer traveling a long distance at bus no that won't be correct people prefer traveling a long distance with bus no that also won't be correct people travel people prefer traveling a long distance by bus by train by aeroplane right so yeah option a here would be the correct option so yeah with that uh, we end the we end this video yeah thank you